Hello everyone and welcome back to my JAXA career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We did get the lunar flyby but we need the impactor and orbiter and also crewed orbit so we need a bigger launch pad. We will obviously be deviating from our little Thor Delta based rocket. So what we really want is actually something that will accommodate the Mark 1-3 pod right out the, of the box. And that probably means, once again, a 3 meter stage underneath it. 3 meters ends up being nice because a lot of things actually default to it. Let's just have a dummy probe for now. Let's make sure that our launcher can handle a good 5 tons. Maybe we should have 5. <laughs> it's, it's okay, barely okay on the thrust weight ratio for an AJ-10 stage. Do we have a better airlit engine that we can use plausibly? Oh, I didn't notice. The H1 can be airlit. They don't allow that for the LR79. I should have gotten the H1 instead. Then we could have an airlit stage of it. Unless we think they would make a deal for the RL-10s. So if I multi-core this, how bad is it going to be? Four heavy. What would we need to deal with here? Nose cones. Procedural tank, this one, is pretty darn expensive. This procedural tank is not something we actually need to do. The controller probably might be. These are the best we can do, right? Oh well, no, 12,500 would give us this one. But... I don't know if it's any better. It's got a little bit more burn time. <laughs> I don't feel like that. that's what we need. I'll unlock the improved, we'll go with improved avionics. 20,000. Okay. But what we're really trying to figure out is what kind of launch pad we need. A lot, let's not just have a Thor. Let's have all the Avengers. Avengers 1. <laughs> LP1. Um, these are reasonable. Human rated though. 138,000. But non-human rated is still 97,000, so it's not that bad. You get extra engineers if it's human rated too. A year to construct it. Yearly upkeep, 20,000. But we've got the crude orbit program, so it should be okay. Okay. Is that SRB hanging out there going like, are you sure you don't want me to be strapped on to it somewhere around here like there? No, let's not do that. But the thrust weight ratio is really low though. And part of the reason I said 360 tons is just in case you want to strap those on. They're tucked in rather precariously though, in between the bigger boosters. It could be fun though. We can do the impactor mission with what we've got. So we, uh, we'll actually build that right now. Let me take up that mission. And we can do that a lot and get a lot of science out of it too. 40 kilograms, we'll have to... I'm sure just the controller is that much here. I wanted to reduce the size of the RCS tanks here. Or we could just reduce utilization. Any other improvements we could do? We are just impacting. We should have a TV camera. Okay. Well, we'll call it Usagi 1, even though we're smashing it into the surface. Okay, money is rolling in. And rolling out. <laughs> We are constructing the pad. 
Okay, that seems the minimum. Alright. In the dark then. SA is on, throttle is up, ignition. And going to the moon for impact. Trying to make an impact. Okay, booster set. And fairing. Okay, we are in orbit 240 by 206. And we have 3,200 meters per second for the transfer, which is like barely enough. We can't really make an off-plane transfer exactly, so we're probably going to have to do a mid-course adjustment too. Timing's just a little bit off. Two degrees. Can we do an impact? Without correcting? Uh, it's probably better to just do a mid-course correction. Yeah, let's attack one of the seas. Let's close to one of the craters though. Okay, something like that. Alright, but we'll have to do these pretty precisely. Ignition. I don't think we can use these fast enough, but... The RCS, I mean. I think I'll just have to take that and go. Okay, we'll have to make adjustments. Okay, that looks like an impact. We'll try and make that correction. Okay... Is that crashy enough? Is that gonna get us enough speed? We are 173 kilograms, so that's fine for the size. We just need to hit with the right speed. Hopefully this is a convincing enough impact. We should maintain comms throughout for the TV camera. Okay, 2450. I think we'll get there. And smack! Awesome. Alright, got that done. Okay. Um, that's till next year. We should have more people constructing things. More science from transmission is very interesting. But again, reduction in funds. Funds is what we need most. We just need the orbiter. But we can probably do another impactor. Optional. But when you get 15 uh, free science out of it, it's a very, very thin core there. You know what, for other purposes, I think I'm gonna move the core to the bottom so it's more useful. I think I'm gonna tool this 25. Maybe I should just make it a one meter. I mean, it's so thin. Let's get another impactor probe. I guess we can find some technology. We can make our way steadily to wherever the heck the... There's the LE-5. That's the actual Japanese one. Guess we can go up there. Try to make our way. Okay, we've minimized inclination. SAS on. Throttle is up. Ignition. And launch. Off we go again. Making another dent in the moon. Okay, booster set. We all go out at different times. 
Lots of roll this time. Such roll. And staging. And fairings. Oops. Staging. This is once again going to be tight though. Okay, 202 by 186. And yeah, well, it's a little bit tighter than the last time, actually. Not really. Okay, so we'll have to take that. And then... Can we correct that? Again, it's sort of like barely. Uh, we probably want to use a little bit of RCS here. Okay, okay. Okay, well, that'll have to be replotted. But yeah, uh, it's not great. <laughs> but we probably should be more direct, so like that would be good. I have to make a decision whether to turn for power or not. I think we'll be alright. Until after the burn. Okay, ignition. Okay. Please be fast enough. Feel like it ought to always be fast enough, but you never know. There might be some fringe case. This is getting pretty tight. That's a nice creator there. All right, we did that. I don't have much money, but maybe we can tool something. Oh, you had some unlock credit. Can I tool this one? Yeah. Okay, so we'll have the controllers tooled. This tank is actually irrelevant, so let's just ignore that for a sec. We don't want to accidentally tool that. That's not a tank that we need to tool. We have two sets of three meter fairing. We don't need to do both. Let's make sure that this is big enough for other things. Let's say six meters. And let's just make this the same size. That's maybe a bit excessive. Maybe we'll go with five meters here. And then this tank. Maybe we shouldn't even go for it. Uh, it'd be cheaper just to keep it to 2.4 meters for now. It's just cheaper this way. It's sad, but what can we do? Well, now this controller could go on top. In the AJ Tins fit? Maybe. Still can't tool everything yet. And actually, we need to make this stage longer. Okay, well, Avengers Zero. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling like I'm avenging anything. Maybe we should just use the Mark I lander can. Or, you know, this cockpit... Wow, that's big. But this cockpit doesn't say it doesn't allow EVAs. And it's rated for Leo entries. Let's try to unlock everything and then make the probe. We need an orbiter for the moon. Mass spectrometer... well, we haven't done it yet. That was clipping a little bit. These are floating. 
Um, we don't need Arceus on this stage. Let's just pull it off and put it on here. Up, oh, that's too much. Okay, time for more balls. Eight balls. You see this thing on this sort of thing on Soviet stuff all the time. Okay, solar panels. Well, let's see what we strictly strictly need. Let's make this decoupler smaller. And we need this to last for a little bit, not a whole long time. That's making me a little bit unhappy on the Delta V. Mass is fine though. 800 meters per second is basically what you need to get around the moon. This is actually too powerful a thruster it looks like. One minute is, you know, too quick. Maybe we can do with something lighter. It doesn't make that much difference. I guess we'll save ourselves some pain. Fine, I'm gonna push the diameter a little bit. Okay, that makes me feel better. I don't know, uh, that's four, uh, 5,800. That's like more than what we need. What if we leave some stuff off? 17 minute burn time. We could do multiple burns. Hmm. Well. I do think actually having multiple of the central one is better. However, that leaves us without a central mounting point. Wait a second. There's a Hydrolox AJ-10. <laughs> if the Japanese are using the AJ-10, we can use a Hydrolox AJ-10. My problem is the Delta V, yeah, because it's not quite enough to get to the moon. Maybe you can add another tank here. Controller can handle it. And again, the central one is giving me a node to mount this on. Well, that'll do the trick uh, with some spare. Um, we want to underfuel this. So that's 5,500, so 9,900 there. We don't need all of that. Uh, it looks like the minimum is 270. Reducing it will give us a better thrust-to-weight ratio. And save money. Build. Yeah, unlock a part for zero. October, meh. Well, we can only hire, okay. 560 then. Let's make sure we have the contract. Another lunar impactor. They keep wanting us to impact the moon. A lunar orbiter. Must be fairly low, but I think we've got that. Okay, well, we have minimized the relative inclination. SAS is on. Well, is up on our mega rocket that I haven't got a good name for, honestly, but we've called it Avengers because it's like many Thors? I don't know. All right. Uh, ignition. That's five LR-79s, and up we go. Okay, getting through max Q. Okay, booster set. Ooh, very vigorous, very nice. There's Dawn in front of us. Okay, fairing set. Okay, staging. And f not four, not four of them, not four of them. Only three, uh, two, uh, okay, was well, three of them, but we're, we've only got two because otherwise it's gonna spin out of control. Okay, this is bad. I think we're going to have to get the Hydrolox AJ-10 because that's going to be much more reliable. Um, <laughs> no, might as well try. Oh no, we've got no 
comms, but well, this is gonna be in trouble anyway. Uh, I shouldn't have extended those. Well, this has been a bit of a failure for our Avengers Zero. We may want to revise that upper stage. How much would the Hyrolox AJ-10 cost? It looks like 94,000. Well, we could potentially have that. Let's see what happens if we use it. That's a nozzle. We probably need this to be bigger though. Oh, that looks like... That's very weak and bad, actually. <laughs> so... Hmm... Maybe we don't want that. We'll need two. I don't think the stage can fit them side by side. And what's the burn time? Nine minutes though. But that thrust to weight ratio doesn't let me use nine minutes. Will they fit? Maybe? Like this, we don't even need the 25 ton controller. We just, we could have a 10 ton controller even. We're actually too light with it. So wait, well, let, let, let's get this back to where we can launch it. Maybe we should tilt them so that if one goes out, because uh, we're going to be starting with base reliability, which is 94%. Let's say we tilt. Okay, where's the center mass? There. Okay. Really? Get it tight? As the fuel drains, it'll be pointing through, so... Hopefully they have some gimbling. I don't know, are they gonna poke? I feel like it is poking right there. Hmm. Well, we're a little bit under diameter. How wide can we actually make this? Without retooling. 2.5? Sneakily. 2.6 even. It's not asking me to retool. Oh, but that the fairings will all oh, right. Okay, fine. 0.5? Okay. 0.55? No. Hmm? Well, we have to finish researching it though. Let's finish it researching it. I don't want a pressure fed AJ-10 Hydrolox engine. I would rather have a HM-7 or or the RZ-20, which I've fallen in love with in the ESSA series. But it has the benefit that I've never used the AJ-10 Hydrolox edition, and the Japanese definitely use the AJ-10. So, we'll try it. All right, we've done that. We have nothing else to tool. Let's build one. Throttle up. SAS is on. We've minimized inclination. Ignition. And launch. Okay, booster set. Okay, fairing. Okay, well, this is way OP for this still. But it is meant for bigger things anyway. Got two of them. They do have 18 ignitions total. Could be useful. Will they be able to hold us over until we get to the LE5? We shall see. Really should have uh, put some RCS on this stage though. We could make use of that. Guess I could use the RCS up here somehow, but it's not ideally positioned. 
It will stop shy of orbit to allow it to deorbit. The next stage has more than we need for the transfer anyway. Okay. And separation. We are on the relay. Up oh, RCS2. Just going with the music. Okay, planning for the moon. And probably a polar orbit would be nice. So, so we'll do it, we'll approach it like this and then we'll actually pull it away from the moon at the make course correction. Okay, go. Five little engines. Okay. And that's good enough. We'll do the rest with RCS. I should probably just this ditch this stage. Seems like a waste though. We want the low over though. Hmm. Well, when we get in there, we'll pull the orbit down a little bit. Okay, we will ignite now. Surprised it's only 400? That seems weird. Well, I mean, it's still pretty loose. I started early because of comms. Okay, staging. Woo! I guess I didn't turn down the power on that one. Okay, it's checking for a stable orbit. Um, go, go ahead and point at the sun, please. Okay, got that. Let's see. Okay, it's running the low over. This does give us the option, after we collect the high over, to bring it down because we'll have the delta V, and then we can focus on the low over. Otherwise, it'll take forever to get the low over because it passes by this part too quickly. But then we can get into a nice low circular orbit, if I remember. If I pen, pay attention to this probe ever again, we can get that extra science. Alright, but we are getting science, we fulfilled the contract, and we have finished the program, in theory. Back to Space Center. I'm sure it's got another impactor that's offering 15 science. And then another orbiter. I guess there's no reason to rush it. Maybe we'll do it. Uh, do another one. Because the program ends in 1986 and we're in 1983. And, you know, there's a lot of potential there for money. But then again, we could get something else. Maybe I should do some upgrades of the building. 40,000 is not that bad. Let's just do that. Anything else I should be upgrading? How many researchers do we have right now? We have the full 300. Maybe I should do that too. Tracking station. I haven't updated the RP1 RO stuff in this install, so uh, we still have the old dialogue here. I'll have to do that. So that's a lot of stuff. And that's a lot of cost per day. Oops. <laughs> Maybe we should delay that a little bit. June sounds good. There we go. Okay. I don't like the advanced command pod. I've never tried the advanced command pod because I don't like the look of it. But it is generic. I should make a nicer looking advanced command pod, like I made a nicer looking Mark 1 cockpit. Let's research this. And maybe we'll look into that. 